In the previous video, you learned a new geometric rule that we called the midpoint theorem. Just to recap, the midpoint theorem states that if you have a triangle and in that triangle you have a line that joins the midpoints of two of the sides of the triangle. Okay, so in other words, this line through the middle joins the midpoint of that side to the midpoint of that side then you can deduce from that that the line is parallel to the third side and that it is half of the length of the two si of the of the third side so if the bottom side is 2x then the middle the middle line will be have a, 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 line, a length of x the converse of the midpoint theorem says that if you have a line that's drawn from the midpoint of one side of a triangle and that it is parallel to the third then what you can deduce is that it bisects the other side and it is half the length of the third side. Okay, so let's have a look at some examples. Before you begin with this, before you pause the video, let's just name the vertices of this triangle just to make our lives a little easier. So if you can just fill this in on your copy of this question in your homework book, and we call that D and E. Okay, if you can pause the video and try this one on your own. Right, we need to determine the size of x and the length of y. Okay, so we can see here that the line BE is the line that joins the midpoint of AC to the midpoint of AD because we are given that those two lengths are equal and that these two lengths are equal. Alright, so what we know about the line that joins the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is that it is parallel to the third side. So we would be able to say that BE is parallel to CD because it is the line joining the midpoints of two sides. Okay, now that we know that it's parallel, we know that angle X will be equal to angle D because they are in corresponding positions. So we know that angle D will be equal to X because they are corresponding angles because we have just proven that BE is parallel to CD. Now, if we look at this, we are actually able to find angle D because we know that this angle is 90 degrees and we know that angle A is 66 and they make up the three angles of a triangle. So we know that X will be equal to 180 degrees minus 66 degrees minus 90 degrees because of angles sum of triangle and therefore we can calculate x to be 24 degrees. Okay, when we want to, uh, to, to calculate y, we are told that ad is equal to 6 point, um, I beg your pardon, that ed is equal to 6.5 and we know from that that AE will be equal to 6.5 as well. And if we then add those two sides together, we get the t total length of AD to be 13. We know that BC is 2.5, so we also know that AB is 2.5. And, and therefore, the full length of AC will be 5 units. If we now want to calculate Y, this is a right angle triangle, so we can use Pythagoras. Y squared will be equal to 13 squared minus 5 squared because of Pythagoras. That will give us um, Y squared to be 144 and the square root of 144 is 12. So Y is equal to 12.